This video is a continuation of our last video. In this video, we're going to be adding more animations. So specifically, we're going to add scroll review animations. When I refresh this page, as you can see, we have more animations. When I scroll, we are doing some animations. Okay. All right. So in this video, we're going to be doing that. I'll see you in the video. I think it would be awesome to do some scroll review animations. To do that, we can use some libraries. We can use the Intersection Observe API, or we can use another library called React Review, which is way easier and quicker to do some scroll review animations. So let's go ahead and install the library. Let's go, uh, npm install React uh, Review. That's the name of the library. Or we can do Intersection Observe API, but it takes uh, a lot longer to do the scroll animations with the intersection observer API. Okay, so go ahead and install this with me and it's going to save your life when you're trying to implement some scroll review animations. Okay, so once you've installed the uh, if once you have installed the project, let's go ahead and run this. So we're going to do npm run npm start actually, not run. npm start. Okay. So now we are running the project. So we want to review this when we scroll. So to do that, to using the library, we're going to import something called fade from the library. So fade is coming from scroll review, not scroll review, react review. Okay, so we're importing fade. So we want to fade in the, from here, all the way here on the FAQ. Okay, so to do that, we're going to wrap the uh, all these sections here with the fade fade wrapper. So we're going to say fade, and then we're going to close the fade. There's no auto, auto completion for this. So fade, and then I'm going to copy cut, and then I'll put inside the fade. Okay, so now everything is inside the fade, hopefully it should work. Okay, everything is fading as you can see, but we need to give it some uh, animations. So you can say, I want it to fade from left, right, or bottom, whatever. So for this one, we're going to say, we're going to fade from left. So you just type left here, and then everything is going to fade from left. What we need to do is just to refresh this. Okay, and everything is now fading from the left side. Okay, so I don't want everything to fade from the left side. I want to say this one comes from the left, this one right, left and right, like something like that. So what I will do is I'll take this fade, I'll cut this, and then I'll put in here. Okay, so I'll take this fade as well, put it here, and then I'll close it down here, fade. Okay, and then I'll do the same to fade, fade, okay, and then I'll close, fade, I'll do it again here, and fade, okay, so now we just, it's a matter of changing where you want the fade to come from, bottom, right, whatever, so here I'm going to say right, and this one left, and right it's only a matter of changing where you want the fade to start from okay so left right left right okay so hopefully when we re reload this so this one is coming from the left this one right left right yeah we didn't do this one uh, it's the faq section so faq section will be coming from the left side so left and then we close fade okay so now it's going to be coming from the left side uh, as you can see here it's coming from the left side okay so I want to also unmade these uh, these FAQ FAQs so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the question each individual question I'm going to animate this I'm going to wrap the question with a fade 
fade as well fade i can't even spell fade okay so make sure to import fade up here don't forget to do that and then i'll take fade cut and then i'll wrap it with fade okay so now everything's wrapped wrapped with fade so now the questions can fade where do you want the questions to fade from so uh for this ones i want them to fade from the left side as well okay so the questions can fade from the left okay as you can see the quest each question is fading from the left okay so to make sure it's uh, staggered they come after one another we need to do uh, cascade cascade okay so they will come one after another so when I go up here when I let's say refresh this and then we're scrolling down the website scrolling down scrolling down and then as you can see they're coming one after another okay so cascade is that effect when they come one after another so let's see what else can we animate here we can uh, we can also try to animate the titles when they're coming in or we can also try to I don't know animate the paragraphs titles depending on whatever kind of animation those you want okay let me try to animate the p tags so okay if I go to the chat section we have the p tag so in here uh, I'm going to say maybe I want this uh, p tag to maybe roll spin when it's coming or whatever I don't know this this is up to you so what I'll do is I'll say uh, roll so this is coming from react review okay so roll I want this to spin so it's like it's coming in rolling okay so this one it's gonna come from the right side okay you can do the same for other paragraphs as well okay so as you can see when we scroll when the corner comes in and then this one comes from the uh, right side you know spinning so we can do the same for the button as well this button here okay so for the button we can you know f look for a nice effect for that so I'll show you the website the website for this API okay so I'll copy the link and then I'll show you where you can see the documentation okay here's the documentation for it so in here you can choose in some effects that you want to to put okay so if you go to documentation you can look maybe for the zoom effect oh, let's click here fade okay in here you can say you want to flip whatever rotate zoom in bounce okay slide row or you can add your custom your custom effects what you can style it what how, however however you like it okay so for this one i'm going to do uh, i think for the button Oh, I'm thinking of a good. Okay, I'll do a bounce for the button. So I'll say bounce. Okay, right side. And then this one I'll say bounce. Okay, it's going to import automatically. Bounce. Cut this. And then, okay, you close. And then I want this to come from the right side. Okay, so now hopefully it's bouncing. Okay, so let me scroll. Okay, there it is. All right, so we can do the same thing for the titles as well. Okay. So you know the bad thing about this is I didn't create a class not a class I mean a component for the title it, it's it, it will be easier to do the title with the component but I don't have a title component so what I'm it's going to take ages to 
uh, do this so for this one uh, let me look for a nice animation so we can okay yeah we can do this zoom effect or something specials yellow yeah we'll do this rubber rubber band okay so what I'll do I'll do rubber 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 band I think something like this that's the name of it and then don't forget to import rubber I'm pretty sure that's correct spelling. Rubber band. Okay, that that's the correct spelling. I'll cut this, and then I'll paste. Okay, so there's no props for this. We just surround it with the rubber band. Okay, and hopefully we should have that effect. Let me refresh this. Seems to be invalid. Let's let's do this import instead of importing it here. I don't know why there's an issue. Let's just do this. All right. So now let's see if we have an issue. Oh, it's a it's a weird animation. Actually, I think the animations are too much. <laughs> it's too much to do that. Remove that. It doesn't look nice. <laughs> So you want to uh, keep the animations to a minimum. Okay, so it's good to keep the animations to a minimum. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to do final animation for the footer and the, the footer and the header. So I'm going to I'm thinking how to do header fade so bottom I'm going to do the footer fade bottom okay so you can also edit this code anyway the, the one here you can also edit here so what I'm going to go to the footer down here footer and then I'll close the fade close fade okay so the, I want the footer to fade bottom. Okay, so when I scroll, I want the footer to come from the bottom. Okay, the footer is coming here. Okay, the, oh, there's a glitch. Let me see. Let's see. Refresh this just to check if there are any glitches. No, not anymore. Okay. So the footer is coming from the bottom. I don't think it's. N you can also add animations for this header. That depends on you. Actually, we might do that. Let's do that. So let's go to the header. So for the header, uh, we have navigation. We can do the navigation too. So for the navigation. I'm going to sound the navigation width fade. I'm going to do left. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do fade, then I'll do left, and then I'll sound the navigation with fade. Okay. So there is there is our navigation. Okay, so now let's do the title. Actually, we can do this uh, the image header content header content right content here. So we're going to say fade fade. Then we're going to say right. And then I'm going to close this fade. 
okay and then plus content and then close it okay here it is oops okay so now let's do the this left fade copy this fade copy and then the left content as well fade and then you close again fade so this one is going to come from the left side left and then I'm going to change the navigation from left to top so I want the navigation to come from the top so navigation I put it to left initially I'm going to change that to top okay so now let's refresh this all right so everything is in order we might also want to stagger I think left content where is it left remember the cascade okay so we want to stagger these seems to be not doing that but anyway that's for you to figure out on your own time okay so now we're doing everything that we want you can also do the elements of the card whatever you can find any way that you see fit of doing these animations anyways i was only making this as a uh, quick small video but it's getting longer so i'm going to stop the video now you can customize these animations to whatever you like i'll see you in the next one